Utah State returns 15 starters from a team that a year ago won 10 games. Here's what you can expect from the Aggies this fall. Utah State has been a championship contender in each of Matt Wells' two seasons at the helm in Logan, with upgrades to facilities and a school record run to four straight bowl games the Aggies have established themselves as one of the top programs in the region and are now poised to make a run at their first Mountain West title. What we say is, you know, it's all about the logo and it's all about the team and there's not one person more important uh, than the team itself. It's not one head coach, it's not one former head coach, it's not a quarterback. Chucky is back. Chucky Keaton, the fifth-year senior, has missed most of the last two seasons with a knee injury and enters his final season as the school's all-time leader in career completion percentage, second in career touchdown passes and completions, and third in total offense and career passing yards. Despite not playing a full season since 2012, Keaton is confident he can return to his all-conference form of three years ago. The more scared you play, the more likely you are to get hurt because you're not going full speed, you're thinking too much. And so uh, I may want to think a little bit more towards the end of the play, but during the play, uh, during the play, you just got to play. That's it. Like Keaton, the Aggies' defensive leader is also coming off a season-ending knee injury. Linebacker Kyler Fackrell, who has made 171 tackles in his career, will lead an elite group of linebackers that includes three returning starters from a year ago. I think while I was in it, I didn't really realize how much I missed it. Um, but, you know, kind of getting back um, and being ready to kind of go into another year, I realized how long it's been since I've you know, stepped out on the field and put on pads. Um, and I'm very, very excited to get back on the field. Utah State opens up the season with two of its first three games against Pac-12 opponents on the road, including a battle with in-state rival Utah. Conference play kicks off with a visit from Colorado State on October 3rd. The season will conclude with an emotional showdown with rival BYU on November 28th. Last season, the Aggies beat the Cougars in Provo for the first time since 1978. They hope to make it two in a row when they face BYU on Senior Day in Logan the final home game for Chucky Keaton and Kyler Fackrell. In my mind, I'm already painting the perfect story. It's going to be the senior game. It's going to be, at least since I've been on the field, the one win. So uh, so I'm excited to, to kind of paint that picture. But at the same time, we got a whole lot of games. And I think those games are going to lead us right into it and uh, give us some momentum uh, right before we play them. No doubt Utah State is one of the deeper, more talented programs in the Mountain West Conference. Head coach Matt Wells did a great job overcoming all the injury adversity that hit last season. The suspect area to me is when they take their show on the road. Seven of Wells' nine losses at Utah State have come away from Logan. And with two early Pac-12 matchups, followed by a straight month of the Mountain West's very best, two away at West Division contenders Fresno State and San Diego State, the Aggies could either be in the driver's seat of the Mountain Division or scrambling for bowl eligibility. Utah State has scored eight defensive touchdowns over the last 22 games. The Aggies hope for more of the same when they kick off the season starting on September 3rd against Southern Utah. From the Mountain West Network Studio, I'm Jesse Kurtz.